What is up everybody? My name is Steph Dietz and today I'm going to show you how to create a new Vue 3 project running Vite, install Tailwind as our CSS framework, and finally deploy it using Vercel. If you've developed with Vue in the past, you were most likely using the Vue CLI, which is what I used until really recently. I just switched to Vite, which is relatively new. It's a build tool that was created by the Vue team, but you can use it with most of the JavaScript frameworks, I think at least all the popular ones. After we create our Vue project, I'm going to show you step by step how to install Tailwind as our CSS framework, as well as deploy it using Vercel. If you haven't heard of Vercel, it's a new deployment platform and it makes it so fast and easy to deploy your product. It's literally a few clicks and it gives you a great developer experience. So let's get started. So obviously the first thing we need to do is create our new Vue 3 project. And as I already mentioned, we're going to be running Vite instead of using the Vue CLI. You're probably wondering why switch to Vite, which is a great question. I'm not going to get too technical. If you want to read up about it, just Google Vite. It's spelled V-I-T-E, which keeps tripping me up. But there's a ton of content you can read up about. But basically, Vite only compiles the code currently rendered on screen instead of compiling your entire project. So it just makes loading times a lot quicker, and it doesn't matter what size your project is. It could be one file or a thousand. It's going to consistently be fast. Now let's move into our terminal, and we can create our project with just one command. It's going to be npm init vite-app, and I'm going to call it my project. After this finishes running, our project is created, and our next three commands are given to us in our terminal. So first, we want to move into our project's directory using our cd command. So we're going to say cd my project. Now that we're in the directory, we want to install any dependencies by running npm install. And after that finishes running, we can run our app locally using the command npm run dev. Now let's copy our localhost, paste it in our web browser, and we should see this default view plus v page. So now we can install Tailwind. Okay, so I am obsessed with Tailwind CSS. I think it is currently the best CSS framework. They make it so easy to create beautiful and responsive components, and you never have to leave the HTML, which I love. I think it speeds things up a ton. So let's get this installed. You're gonna wanna have the Tailwind documentation open to install it, so I'm gonna link that in the description below. And once you have that open, scroll down to where you see setting up Tailwind CSS, and we're going to copy this first command and back in our terminal, we are going to stop running our app locally. So we could say control C and then we'll paste this command. This is going to install Tailwind and any of its peer dependencies. Next, we can go back to the documentation and scroll down to that second command and once again, paste it in the terminal. This will create and configure two files for us. The first is our Tailwind config file. And the second is our post CSS config file. And you can see the structure of these files here as we scroll down. I'll talk more about them in a bit. But this is what we're interested in right now, this green highlighted text. We're going to copy this value, and then we're going to open our code in our text editor. I am going to move down to our Tailwind config file, which should be at the bottom. And I'm going to replace our purge value with what we just copied. This is going to remove any unused styles in production, and this file is where you can add any custom classes in the future if you'd like. Next, let's move into our index.css file and just remove everything that is here for right now. Back in the Tailwind docs, we are going to scroll down even farther, and we're going to copy these three styles and just paste them into our index.css file. Make sure you save. And then we're going to go into our main JS file and just confirm that we're importing our index.css, which we are. Now I want to confirm that we successfully installed Tailwind. So let's head into app.view and I'm going to add a div and give it width 40, height 40, and background pink 500. Save your changes and then we're going to head back to the terminal to rerun this locally. So I'm going to say npm run dev. This time we should see a pink square, and we do. That means everything was installed correctly. So now I'm going to add a little bit of spice. There we have a beautiful finished product that is ready to be deployed using Vercel. If you'd like to see how I created this simple landing page, I will post that in a separate video, but I'll tag it in one of the upper corners. Anyways, let's deploy this. So head to Vercel.com and we are going to click this sign up button in the corner. 
You're going to be prompted to sign up using the Git of your choice. I'm going to use GitHub and it's your normal GitHub username and password. You'll be redirected to a page that looks like this and you can see all of your repositories are listed. Simply select the one you want to import for deployment and all of these fields are going to be auto filled. So you can rename it if you'd like, but you can see that the framework we're using is auto detected. All you have to do is click deploy and it's going to deploy it for you. It's going to take a few seconds to deploy, but when it's done, we are going to be redirected to this fun confetti page and we can see a preview of our app. If we just click on it, it's going to take us to this project in our dashboard. Once in our dashboard, we can see all the information about this project and we can visit it. Here we have our live app that anyone can visit. It really was that easy to deploy. And that does it. We deployed our project. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to be putting out a lot of content similar to this. Also, if you deploy anything with Vercel, link it down in the comments so we can all check it out. Uh, happy coding, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.